Gone with the Evolution, Chapter 14, Monte Carlo, by Micah Sable. I wouldn't say that Moscow or St. Petersburg are the cultural capitals for this reason. In English, it's called familiarity breeds contempt. Well, living in a super city doesn't bring contempt, but it does eventually breed apathy. For example, before I moved to Russia, I lived in Florida, near the ocean. Water was everywhere, and I never got tired of the climate in the three years I lived there. Even though I was working out in the tropical heat as a carpenter and drank 11 liters of water before 4 p.m. to stay hydrated. However, my parents had not visited the ocean in seven years. Our friends from church in Florida, too, as we walked with them along the Jensen Beach waves, hadn't been to the beach in two and a half years. And if our relatives in St. Petersburg have been to one single cultural event recently, I haven't heard about it. No, and something much more cynical and as serious can happen. Father John H., open-hearted and golden-hearted, Father John, except after the second vodka bottle, where he was likely to start a fight with any and every passerby, well, from Homsk, he and his wife moved to Moscow and lived on a first-floor flat with two rooms in an older Soviet apartment. Next visit, they were living in a bigger apartment with a Whirlpool bathtub. Next visit, they only drove a pair of SUVs, used smartphones, iPhones, and now had their sights on a dacha. The next time, we heard they had a private house, a dacha, and two city apartments. Of course, the less religious of us will just chalk this story up to another reason to avoid church at all costs. But why? Priests are people too, with the same temptations. And Father John, or maybe rather his wife, wanted everything. His wife didn't want to be the dowdy church doll singing in the choir, even though she was the granddaughter of a famous priest. No, she needed a red ballroom gown to sing in that choir. But at one point things fell apart. Father John drank himself to death at age 45, and before that the marriage was on the rocks. We can't help but notice with people who have moved to those cities that they soon become obsessed with things. We flew to Monte Carlo for just one day, but we were there, Father John's wife spoke with sparkling eyes. And others too. We only hear about what needs to be bought, what is shit, and what Omsk is in comparison. My dears, it's not a pretty thing to look at, the, the transformation of these people. In Oms, we go to the theater, orchestra, or museums constantly. And that's the point, that the cultural city is right under our noses. Gone with the Evolution Chapter 14 Monte Carlo By Micah Sable <laughs>